time for the lightning round. All righty, folks, those Olympic masks, Paris Hilton versus John McCain and Favre, yet again. Our guest tonight's one of the featured guests at the Tampa Comic Book and Toy Convention this weekend, the voice of Space Coast Coast to Coast and voiceover specialist George Lowe is back on the hey, lightning round. How are hey, you? Boys, how are you? Yeah, the Good. venues just keep getting bigger for me. It's been a rough week. <laughs> it has? I, I'm sore. I, I'm just, I don't know. I've, got, a, I've got this ringing in my ears. I've got a head. I've just got a heck of a headache, a really nasty week. I brought a clip. If we could uh, show the clip. Yes. Hey, Chris. I got it. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All, all damn week, I'm spitting out chunks of drywall. It's just been a hell of a week, boys. I'm really, I'm truly sorry. No. The way it, the way it turned from from day to night in that video is just, <laughs> really no, no, no. just it's called the quick sun disbelief. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thanks for playing along, buddy. Uh, and you and your buddy Chris Angel. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The last time I get the ball off the roof for him. Yeah. Did you get my ball, George? Oh, oh sure, Chris. No make problem. Him, make him get it. Thank you time. very much, Chris. How about Senator John McCain? Took a shot at Senator Barack Obama in a campaign ad, ridiculing Paris Hilton and. Britney Spears. Well, now Paris has said, whoa, wait a minute. I'm going to get even. She puts her own spoof on the internet, a spoof of her own, calling him the wrinkly, white-haired guy. <laughs> well, you know, right. first, first off, we, we know Paris isn't out back with a hammer splitting Adams. So, as, as, it, as, it turns, as it turns out, she thought she was talking about Wilford Brimley. That's the first problem. But I hear, and you know, Chip, I've got good sources. Yes. I, I hear through the Obama camp, they've already built a new campaign where, where McCain has double horns and, and a little pitchfork. It's like, <laughs> vote for me! <laughs> That's that's what they're coming back with. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, the whole the whole thing with her on that lounge chair in the leopard bathing suit in itself is worth some bonus. Points, it couldn't hurt. Campaign could have say, can't, I mean, Paul and I are on the you're, same. You're, you're, you're attracting okay. some crowd. I'm not sure who it is. They can't vote. Paul's <laughs> talking about a warm front, aren't you, Paul? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> How about uh, Brett Favre? Uh, just because it's Brett Favre. Yeah, we'll probably be talking about it for a couple more days. I think so the biggest the biggest story is is the six run comeback by the Rays today. No, that was that was unbelievable. And it was. <laughs> I, I just I think at some point you, you just have to see how it plays out, but I think a lot of fatigue is, is setting in. I, coming, yeah, not coming. Agree. Just I don't just know. I got two thoughts on the whole thing. First off, Gruden always looks mad. Yeah, if I was making good. Gruden's money, I'd be the happiest man alive. And I want to know if he uses A method or if he B really, really finds that anger deep within or if he shoves a hornet's nest in his pants before he comes <laughs> yeah. to do the interviews with you boys. Yeah. That's the other thing. He loves the media oh, well, my God. Yeah, he's gotta love the scrutiny. But the other thought is you know I don't know sports. And I've told you that. before, yeah. I'm very honest. Right. I love sports, but I don't know sports. Yeah. And I'm the first guy to say it, but I, all I can say is if we do get Favre, it'll be the best thing the NHL has ever seen. Here <laughs> <in Tampa Bay. laughs> nice. <laughs> Put it in perspective. It yeah. does. Before we go, the U.S. Olympic cyclist team has apologized for insulting their Chinese hosts when they stepped off a plane this week in Beijing. Remember the mask they had because of the air pollution? I'm wondering, you know, a nice statement that they made, whether it was a statement or not, but now they're apologizing. I don't think they should have had apologize to apologize. for what? They were wearing no, the mask. Have you seen the pictures of the air? I mean, you can barely see from here to chunky style. It looks like it looks like the stuff coming out of your mouth. It's Thank so, you. it's so bad. It's yeah. terrible. And, and you know, as it turns out, Lance Armstrong is with him. I don't know. And it, it turns out, apparently, on the plane, he just cut one. Really, it was, it was terrible. And that's that's what happened. It was you just, are wound up I mean, tonight, aren't you? Well, I had to wait nine hours for you in the green room. <laughs> and Denise White said. Where's your handsome husband to my mother? So thank you, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Made you feel nice and young today. Uh, you're at the uh, comic book and toy convention this weekend in Tampa, Sunday, uh, right? Along with 12,000 kids who smell like cup of soup. So come on out. It'll be fun. <laughs> and that's the Double is Tree. That a real, is that a real event? Is yep, that again? Yep, it really is. It's double Tree uh, on West Cypress. West right? Cypress. That's yeah. exactly right. No, they're lovely. We have a good time. Chip and I will be there at 8 o'clock.